Good morning, everybody. Guys, this video wasn't actually supposed to happen, but uh, I've gone about a week without being able to do laundry because we didn't have a washer and dryer. So we ordered one. Unfortunately, it took about a week for it to get here. They just got here this morning. But due to COVID-19, they could not come into our home, nor could they install them. So, family DIY project. He has a mouthful of eggs. We were just eating breakfast. No way. All right. Excuse my shrunken afro. I have to fix this later. But back to our current situation. Thankfully, we have a garage because this is where they sit for the moment. Have to get them through that tiny door. Around this door. And through another tiny door. Though we have a dolly. <laughs> It's a small one, so we're going to have to figure this one out. So come along with us as we figure out how to install and move a washer dryer set. Yeah. The best part about all this is I'll get to do laundry today. Hopefully. It looks to be the right washer, which is black. Yes, black with a little gold or silver in it. So that is the white, right washer. Now I have to check the dryer. Hey guys, the washer is installed now. Everything is coming on. We almost forgot to hook up the drain, uh, the drain line or whatever, but 
it was actually in the washer and once we pulled it out we hooked it up and put it in back there uh, awkwardly when my husband took the cap off the back of the washer where the drain uh, hose goes the water the water just started pouring out of it so I guess it was like them testing it to make sure it worked Let's see the lights come on big big washer I'm so excited to have a big washer you guys all right now on to the dryer after I get this off. Come on, you. Work with me. We are currently doing all of the connections at the back. This part's taking us a little bit. But we are figuring it out. All right, guys, so we got them all hooked up. We had to go back into the back here and retighten those lines, but we have it all hooked up and ready to go. And I'm about to wash some clothes. This is pure mom happiness, you guys. It's time to do some laundry, yeah. Okay guys, so I'm learning here. I was reading the thing and it kept saying tank empty. And I'm like, yeah, it's empty ain't no water in there. It wasn't talking about it, it was talking, to, <laughs> talking about the detergent. Uh, Cause you can fill it up and then it kind of automatically dispenses enough every time you wash. You guys, I'm used to the old washers where you put, put the powder in on top of it or you know, throw a little pod and then be done with it, you know. I'm not used to the, what they, this newfangled technology. I'm sorry, I can't say it like that, I'm saying old. Uh, so we got it going now. And we'll see how it goes for its first wash. I'm so hot to our earn this popsicle. And first load done. Let's put it on in the dryer. guys so now they are in the dryer the dryer is going um the washer took a little bit longer because we accidentally putting on put it on like a soak setting so it soaked like four or five times i didn't even know it did that so it took an hour and a half for that one load <laughs> now it's in the dryer and uh it's gonna take about an hour in the dryer because it's i don't want to say a mixed load but that's what i put it on i want to see what it does um the reason why i just wash everything together is because we wear pretty much all athletic gear whether it be basketball shorts, um, running or leggings or tights, whatever. The stuff doesn't bleed off. So we don't have any color fading or anything like that. So that's why it looks like that. I'm excited to do some laundry because I am wearing my husband's clothes. Have been for two days now because I ran out. So <laughs> we'll see how this does. And I'll come back and let you guys know how the dryer works. Okay, guys. So we are washing load number two. Um... This one's I'm doing it a less um, a lower setting um, because of it's just pretty much my husband's athletic clothes. 
Um, we did have a little bit of water leakage, but we had to tighten one of the lines, the cold water line. But we got it tightened so the water is not leaking anymore on either side. There was a puddle right there. No puddles. <laughs> the dryer dried everything perfectly. There was nothing damp in the dryer at all. So the dryer did miraculously as well as cleaning. So I guess we're okay on the laundry.